Yo, okay, so uh, two podcasts ago, we filmed this entire thing, and then it was all deleted, or there was no audio, so it was kind of just lost. Yeah. Well, anyway, during that podcast, I went on like a 20-minute rant about <laughs> my sheer hatred for Snapchat influencers. Oh, yeah. I was pretty heated about it. And I still am, but um, last night, I clicked on a Snapchat influencer's story and started watching it expecting to be disappointed like I always am because these Snapchatters will put up like 500 stories in a day, right? About nothing. And this chick was like, yeah, my car got stolen. The person that stole it had it for two weeks and I just found out because I went to go get my car out of like the parking ramp and it was gone. So then I had to track it down, right? Right. And um, so I'm like, oh, shit, that kind of sounds interesting. Long story short, she ends up tracking her car down out of impound. There was like guns and like heroin <laughs> in like the back seat of everything. And um, this person was like living out of the car. It was Portland. Of course. Of course. Of course. Uh, living out of the car for like two weeks, ended up getting arrested, but left their phones in it. So then this chick is like, like Snapchatting all of this, like showing the, like the whole process of like getting it back, like everything in like the back finding the phones and being like, all right, let's try and get into these phones. And it was like one of the Androids. So you had to like use like the pattern guesses the pattern to get in. And you can see the greasy fingerprints. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. And uh, gets into the phone post on their Facebook page. Like, like just basically exposing them and like saying like what they've been up to and everything. And then like shows the whole process of like going to the police and the police are like, yeah, we, we like, aren't going to help you with anything. And she's like, in Portland. I'm going to take these matters into my own hands <laughs> and like just filming this whole thing. And I was actually very just intrigued and like entertained by the whole thing. And right before the end, I was like, you know what? Snapchat influencers aren't that bad. And then the last two slides, the last two slides was, Hey, thanks for asking how I get my teeth so white, Christine. I actually use this, which every Snapchat influencer always uh, plugs like the paid plug, like the uh, the uh, yeah, the whatever it's whatever. called. Here, yeah, right. I don't, I don't even want to give them a plug. You gotta make right? your bread and butter, though. Yeah, I know, and I, I just go, oh my gosh, of course, of course. And then the last slide was like, so anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna be going to the grocery store, and I think I'm gonna try and sell my couch, and I'm like, God damn it. They suck again. They yeah. suck again. Dude. Yeah, she just got lucky as far as that whole story unfolding. That's a great job, dog. But Snapchat like. influencers do suck literal ass. <laughs> Andy Milanaka said it. Respect the content. Or sorry. <laughs> <laughs> respect the hustle. Do not respect the content. And that can apply to most Snapchat influencers. Uh, half of them are like clickbaiting. Half of them put a story of like Addison Ray at the very end. So you click on it. Mm -hmm. But it's really just yeah. some homie. 